Okay, so binds and twists are really good for the immune system, very good for detoxing the body because we're squeezing and twisting through the right and left side of the body. So the ascending and descending colon, there's also compression here. So to begin with, I'm starting really simple. I'm bringing the legs up beside me. I'm keeping the spine really long and twisting as far as I feel I can, also taking the gaze over the shoulder where I can. Each time I move into a different position, it's getting a little bit more difficult. So now I'm hugging the leg. I'm still keeping the spine really long, bringing the hand down by my bottom and keeping my gaze over that shoulder and just enjoying that nice twist. Also make sure that you take your breath with you. So I'm taking some really nice long, deep inhales and exhales through the nose here and taking my time to really sink into each twisting posture. I am keeping my toes up of the foot that is long on the ground just to keep an internal or a nice line through the body so there's no internal external rotation of your hip so you'll notice that very soon so now I'm taking a bind with the arm this starts to get a little bit more difficult especially if you're really tight now these postures can help to bring a really nice alignment to your balancing postures especially in psycho which is what we're going to get to so now i've taken the foot over and i'm able to open up through the scapula even more so the shoulder blades in the back and take the twist a little deeper so i'm really lifting up out of the body so i don't get like all of my organs caught as i twist around and I'm in one straight line. You'll notice my long leg has my toes pulled up. You might be able to just see that now, just to keep that nice line through the body. So now I'm going to reach down for the other leg. So now I'm taking the bind and I'm reaching for the foot, which compresses even more into the side bottle. Just notice my toes go up to keep that nice line of that bottom foot. Okay, so now as I come out of this, I'm going to come into deer pose, take my arms into a chaturanga type of frame. So the elbows under the shoulders and you can see that I'm doing like a push up each side and just making sure that I have, I'm able to do that. If you're not able to do this, then the next lot of postures don't come into. Now I'm coming into a little bit more of a 90 degree angle with my legs and so my legs are starting to be able to bench those elbows so that's the line that i'm wanting to get into to be able to support the balance and now i'm going to go down again and just watch the legs so the bottom leg will shoot forward as the top leg shoots back and that's the balancing posture that we're trying to get into but i'll be balancing on the elbows but if you find it really difficult to get those elbows where i am at the moment in line with those knees you're going to find this posture very difficult so just practice these things first now i'm in that chaturanga stance from that push-up and tilt the legs back Okay, now we're going to start to, uh, hello there, <laughs> we're start, going to start to get into the balancing posture. Notice my elbows are benched beside my legs for my legs to be able to balance on. I'm just going to take a couple of little pushes there just to see if I feel like I've got a nice benching feeling like those legs can reach up over my elbows. If they can't, then I'm not going to be able to hinge those legs up. So I'm going to go for it. I'm going to lean over, get as close as I can, come into that chaturanga elbows and just pick those legs up. If you can bench, you will find this is quite easy. But if you're finding this twist really hard, that's what's going to get you. So we find that balance, we lift up. And you have that bench space now we're going to go in for the legs open so that crow pose flying crows whatever you'd like to call it but we're going to bench those elbows and see elbow elbow and that's where we're going to bench so those that knee needs to be on top of those elbows. When you lift up to be able to find the support, then the top leg shoots back as the bottom leg shoots forward. And then you find that beautiful open flying crow. And you can come back to the other side. And once again, that's where you're going to be 
focusing the balance on the elbows. The elbows aren't shooting out sideways, they're shooting back towards your chaturanga arms. If you're not sure what chaturanga is, that's what you want to be practicing first. And then we shoot out. And that is how we get into that stance. Have an amazing day all. Cheers. Namaste. Now, some of you might be saying that is not psycho or that is cheating. So I'm going to show you the other option to come into psycho, which I do find is much more difficult, but it's just a different version. So there's lots of different versions and uh, yeah, sequences that you can come into. So for this one, instead of benching the arms beside you, we take the hands out in front of us. Now we still do have like the chaturanga stance. So you want to be able to, chaturanga is simply being able to bring the elbows back and find a balance. If you don't know what chaturanga is, make sure you look that up, okay? And practice that posture because without that posture, you'll find it's very hard. So I'm going to really allow this elbow to squeeze nice and close to the side of this body. If you can't get to that, you're gonna find this very difficult because you need that to be able to balance. This hand is going to come out to the other side and it'll be shoulder width apart. Now, as we come out to the side, I lift on up and only this side of my body is resting on that elbow. So, we lift up, those legs come out. So that is the other version of the side crow. So we'll do it on the other side over here so that you can see me. We've got to be able to make sure we can find that bind, really squeeze, come over, make sure that you've got good balance and lift on up, back down. So for those who are saying that's not proper Padmapakasana, which is a side flying crow, that is your other option. And you can take the option, once again, to shoot the legs out. So we'll get into that. You have to really concentrate on your breath because that's where the lightness comes in. <laughs> but I fell out. We all fall out of the postures as we got meant to last. Okay, so I didn't want to uh, <laughs> not show you how to do this, so, but I didn't want to delete the mistake because I don't want this to be perfect because then you'll get nothing is perfect. Just go with it and have some fun. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to actually do it from this side though so that you can see me. I've got my hands out. I'm going to find that bench on one arm, lift up. All right, now the top leg goes back as that bottom leg goes forward. The only challenge is, is that you don't have the entire body weight resting, which makes it a little bit easier. Should we do it on the other side? I can't promise anything. <laughs> Never promise, I just try. It's always good to be able to just have a bit of fun with these things. And be able to laugh at yourself if you don't get it correct. Move over a little bit more so that you can see me. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can find the posture first. Lifting up. All right. We've got it. Yay. Well, let me know if you get it. Which one? And remember, if you don't get either, just practice some of the things we did earlier.